victorious. Exactly. So you get to rate the session again. But blam. You've been so generous, man. Five out of five sons. <laughs> Too much Skaven. Four out of five sons. <laughs> Um, cool, so this is the experience screen, and as you can see, because we've got that extra loot die, we've got the cursed bonus die. We've just unlocked the forge Great. as well. So, we're so check it, that this, out. this is a, uh, a global level, this isn't necessarily my Bright Wizard level, or no. is that the case? Okay. It's a global level. All right. Renald's bones. Yes. Um, okay. So this is our loot screen, basically. On the right-hand side, you can see all the loot that you can potentially get out There's of this so roll. much of it. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you get one of those, though. Okay. So... On the left-hand side, you can see which dice we have. So it's not necessarily dependent upon the class you're playing. No. It's just like, hey, here's a piece of gear. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So uh, can I claim this cursed dice, or is it just going to be random? It's claimed already. Yeah, you've okay. got that one. So oh, okay, great. basically what we're telling you is that that has a little higher <laughs> successful roll, right? And that's actually the only success you got for this roll. Oh, Rex. So you've got a white axe, and that's All actually right. an axe for the dwarf. I'm going to go ahead and assume. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and play the dwarf next time, then. Sure. It appears to be. Yes, a Karakias Drugi. I don't know how to pronounce that. So <laughs> I thought you were doing a really good job for a second. Sounded good, right? <laughs> yeah, great axe for the dwarf. You are on top of so the scoreboard again. I man. should uh, return to the. Oh, man. You're too good Direct. for me. Uh, return to the end? Sure. Okay. Can you take out Let's the forge. If you guys have questions uh, for Liam about Warhammer End Times Vermintide, make sure you tweet at IGN with the hashtag IGN plays live. I will also sporadically check the Twitch chat and YouTube, but I uh, do also have to play and kill Skaven. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Probably just Twitter. <laughs> as soon as I said that, a bunch more questions. <laughs> um, what kind of different environments can we expect since there are 13 levels? All sorts. Uh, the game is set in and around the city of Uberstrike, which is located in the Empire. And what you're going to be seeing is everything from like going out into the forests outside the city, down in the Skaven under Empire, like the sewers, that kind of stuff. There are tunnels. Mm -hmm. You're going to be seeing um, actually the next level we're going to play is on top of the city walls, which kind of gives us a little bit of a different perspective on the town. You've also got a, um, a really cool level that's set inside the Tower of a Wizard which is actually my favorite level in the game. It's <laughs> it's really crazy. It's a really trippy level. Um, so all sorts. You oh, know I can use a two-hander for this. Okay. Yeah. And it looks as though, what is this? This is targets and knockbacks. So I'm getting increased damage with my charge and normal attacks, a little bit reduced speed, and I'm losing what the amount of targets I can hit with yeah, the charge attack exactly. and the knockback. Okay. Well, definitely going to equip that. Sure. If you I'll spin around, we're going to physic your beard and your bag, of course. Beautiful, man. Okay, great. <laughs> cool. So if you want to head over here, you can check out the forge which is our way of kind of letting you do stuff with gear that you don't want anymore, Great. for example. So you right. can take five items of the same rarity, forge those together to something Obviously have to next. be ones, oh, ones that are yeah. not equipped. So you can get rid of your default. Exactly. Okay. That's the idea, yeah. And um, So if I had enough, I could... That would be a, a green item. And then later you'd get five green would be a blue item and so on. Love it. So love this it, is like it, that is it. mainly for our gear you don't want anymore. What else can I do here? With the upgrade screen, if you have an item that's above a white, they're going to have traits that are like locked from the start. So that's where you can unlock those using tokens. Mm -hmm. To get tokens, you can hit the third tab, and that's going to open up the salvage screen. So you can use that to salvage gear. It's going to give you tokens, which you can see on the bottom left corner. So you use those to unlock those traits. So the tokens are rewarded just from the end of levels? or uh, from Actually, from salvaging gear. Oh, okay, so great. So when you salvage like a green item, it's going to give you green tokens and gotcha. so on. And that's what's used to upgrade. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Very cool. I so like that a lot. That uh, cool. and, uh, The other thing that I enjoy is that there's actually stuff to do in the tavern. Instead of just run around, you can uh, <laughs> mess with your inventory and yeah. you can check out my weapon. What is that from? It's going to bother me to the end of time. You counter-strike. <laughs> 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 That's exactly what it's from. 